Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my home in Livingston, Montana. Okay, today's date is Friday, the 18th of June of 2021, and I certainly hope I can get this movie file done because I tried it about 10 times and screwed it up every doggone time. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I made a movie file yesterday. It, I number all my files. It's file number 845, and I was out shooting for the first time a, a Kimber Custom TLE Tactical Law Enforcement slash RL2 45 ACP. It was, some, it was a custom Kimber that I acquired about a month ago and I just first getting around to testing it and I was also testing some some Kimber, Kimber branded uh, 10 round magazines. Well, here's the, I had many, many mistakes in, in that file, which I'm not going to name them. I don't want this file to be too long. But halfway through that particular file I made yesterday, I sat there for five minutes fumbling around with one of them magazine loaders. You know, one of them, is, them little jobbers that assist you in loading a clip, you know, instead of sitting there, with, you know, jamming them in with your thumb like this and getting a blood blister and all that. Well, I was a little mixed up on that loader because I don't use one very often. That's my excuse, but it's the truth. I've got four other pistols. I'm not going to get into that, and none of them act, none of them require me to use a loader. But this Kimber dang sure does with these extended mags. That's what I'm talking about. Another thing I didn't do was show this very well because I was shooting these mags. I was uh, yesterday. I was testing these too along with you know, the, the, the piece, the, you know, so that, that's what the, this clip looks like, they, they work very, very well, but except for them 45 rounds are kind of hard to get in here, that's what I'm mumbling about, and I'm fixing to show you how to use one of them loaders, in case you don't know, a lot of you do, I realize, uh, it's a very nice clip, these are you know, I've got two of them. I ordered them right straight from Kimber, and believe you me, Kimber Kimber stuff is expensive. I paid a hundred and twenty dollars for two of these, sixty bucks a piece. That's a fact. So anyway, this is what it looks like in the piece. Fits well. These particular ones right here will only fit their pro models and their and their custom models. Or so I might well throw that in here. Okay. Let me just show you this clip here real quick. Here's, here's my extra one. This is solid stainless steel, pretty heavy duty stainless steel. You can see there, we've got a lot of wit. There's great big witness, lot, witness holes. And also you can see it's great big numbers. Two through ten. Ten meaning right there. Okay. And I do believe the bottom of this doggone thing is polymer. And this follower right here, this doggone thing is metal. And that, that, that spring in there is good and tough, especially when you get down. Yeah, I mean, you can load the first three or four, but after that, you, you almost need one of these loaders. Okay, the loader I was using yesterday was one of is, is this guy right here. And this is made by Magpul. There are several other ones on the market. I got this from Amazon years ago, never used it much. I think I paid 25 bucks for it. But what you really want to watch is that, see that tooth right there? That little loading chute? Make sure you pay attention to that little action. And there's a bullet embedded in, it's not an actual bullet, but it's a bullet icon, if you will, symbol that's embedded in that plastic. And see which direction that's going? Well, that'll tell you which direction that this clip needs to go in, you know, because here it is. Here's the back where the primer's at and everything, and the tip of the bullet's going to be here. So you, you follow what I'm saying? Sure you do. So all that does is just take a little confusion out because it's really easy to get these clips twisted around. So you just take a look at this guy right here, and you, you, you just know your clip needs to go in there like that. Okay, you see that? And basically, this is pretty simple, but you know how you run into these mechanical things sometimes when you don't use them a lot and you're sitting there going, you know, well, that's the way I was with this yesterday <laughs> because I don't use it that much, but I'm going to have to end up using it with these clips 
for this Kimber. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, now the way you do this, it's pretty doggone simple. Okay, this this is a key in the, the squeezing this little shoe right here is key to the operation, and pushing up on the clip is key to the operation. See that? Okay. Now, really, basically, all you're going to do is take this guy here and put it in there up over. See? Oh, man. See that? There you go. Up over the. And I'm pushing up on the clip and therefore exposing a hole for you to drop around in there. <laughs> well, this is hard to do. Okay. We're going to do We'll drop around in there, and then after that, you just open you open this back up again with that little tooth is at, and you go up here over that round. You see what I'm doing here? Of course, that is autofocus. It have to be acting up, but you go over the round and push the clip back up again. Follow me. Of course, if you were doing this and you weren't on cam like I am, you would use you would you know you would push down on this helper here, you know, while you had your clip on your knee or a table or something like that. But anyway, you stick another bullet in there, pull, pull this little loading gate out, and lower the clip, and back over the bullet again, and back open. You see what I'm doing here? Another bullet in, like pull the little tooth out, And back up, back up over that bullet, and push her down. See, another bullet in there. Let the tooth out. Pull a clip down. Back over the bullet again, and then compress the spring. That's all that this gizmo really does is help you compress the spring in this magazine. Okay, there you go. Pull that, let that tooth out, that loading chute, back up again, and and over the bullet and down. Okay. I put six of them in here. I could put ten, but I think you get the idea. And there you are. And this witness hole... These witness holes right here will show you that there's six in there. I could have easily went for the other, you know, the other four. But, yeah, you, you really need one of these magazine loaders, for especially these clips here. I can't speak for everything else. I, I just know what I'm doing. My other four semi-auto loaders, I, don't, I, I really don't have to have, you know, a loader that... Uh, a magazine helper, whatever you want to call these things, you know. So, but you dang sure do with these clips right here in this Kimber. Okay, that's all I got here. I want, I'm going to keep this file short. I got 8 minutes and 30 seconds. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your attention. We shall see you on down the trail. And adios, my friends.